Hey guys, this is Johnny. Today we're looking at this two gallon gas container made by Scepter. I got this at Walmart for about $13.89 and today we're going to be filling it up at the gas station shortly. But right now we're going to look at how to open it up and the features that it has. Take a look. Bam. So the way that you remove this black part from the red part is by pushing down on this green tab. Push it down and spin the black part counterclockwise. Once it's loose, you just pull it right out. It has these teeth here, and the green part has the teeth facing in the opposite direction, so it locks it in place. All right, once you open that up, if you take a look inside, there's this clear plastic uh, part that has a ledge towards the middle of it. So once you grab the uh, pump for the gas and put the nozzle in there, it kind of lets you know where you gotta stop. This is what I'm talking about, take a look. So the gasoline nozzle is gonna hit the ledge. Once you hit the ledge, stop. Go ahead and fill it up, you know, wherever you need to fill it up. In this case, the maximum we can do is two gallons. And let me point this out. Two gallons is not all the way to the top. This is the two gallon mark. So a lot of people may or may not make the mistake of trying to fill it up to the top. And you're not supposed to. This is the two gallon mark. So once you have it full of gas, what you do is stick this right back in. Same thing. Turn it clockwise. Pull down on the green tab. Make sure this is straight. Tighten it. Release the green tab, make sure it's snug. All right, now to pour the gasoline out, what you do is remove this tab here, tilt, hold, and there. then you have another tab here. Let's go to the gas station and fill this thing up. All right, guys, here we are at the gas station. Look at them prices though. Good thing we're only doing two gallons. All right, guys, here we are. All right, guys, this is what I'm talking about. You can only go so far. It'll stop you. Don't try to go in any further. Now, go ahead and press the trigger. Well, first choose the type of gas you want. All right, guys, remember, just put it in slowly. And then once you feel it stop, do not try to push it in any further. What you do now is lift this up slightly and press the trigger on the gas gun. All right, I feel it. Whoa. All right, if you guys can see there, just keep an eye on that. Do not go any higher than the, uh, the line here that says two gallons. So here we are now. I don't know if you can see it. All right. There you go, there you go. All right. Can you guys see it? It's about to hit the mark. We don't want to go past that line. There we are. I'm just gonna go ahead and stop there. All right, guys, so it's full of gas. Take a look. Now what you wanna do is put this in. Make sure this is straight. Spin this. Pull the tab back here. Continue to spin it till it's tight. Release the tab. Ready to go. All right, guys, this is a wild one. $6.55 for not even two gallons. Los Angeles, gas prices. All right, let's go. All right, guys, now that we have our Scepter two gallon gasoline container full of gas, let's go ahead and pour it into the pressure washer and see how easy it is or how difficult. All right, guys, so the first thing you wanna do is remove this. Then you have this spot here where you can just put it so it's not in the way. All right, so what you gotta do again is I'll uh, pull this lever and once this lever is pulled up, then you pull, push the entire green thing in. All right, check it out, guys. Here we go. If you guys want me to do a video about this pressure washer, let me know in the comments, and I'll be uh, more than happy to do that. But right now, let's focus on this. All right, guys. Tilt it inward. And then after you push this green tab in, you push the whole green part inward. There it goes. Okay. Yep, pretty easy. I'm just being careful here not to overfill it. Yeah, all right. Check it out one more time. So you push this, and then with your hand, you push the entire green thing in. And you'll feel it kind of click. Just be careful because it fills up fast. All right, yeah, now we're good. All right, guys, 
pretty much full. Um, yeah, I would give this thing a 10 out of 10. It's pretty awesome, honestly. It's about $14 at Walmart. Two gallons. You know, they have different sizes, but this is the one that I went with. And again, if you guys want me to do a video about this pressure washer, this is a Ryobi 3100 PSI pressure washer. If you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments and I'll happy, uh, happily, uh, you know, make a video on that. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I appreciate it. Subscribe.